Okay, so we're going to talk about matrix gradients here real fast. And uh, the gradient is actually really simple. It's uh, just a partial differentiation. So if I want to take the gradient of x of a function f with respect to x, if I find that f of x is uh, equal to, say, x squared, uh, x1 squared plus 2x2, uh, then I can find that the gradient of f of x, this is the gradient of a function f of x, is equal to a uh, common vector of the partial of each one of these. So the partial with respect to, uh, this is, hmm, I'm going to just close this out. Over here will be the partial with respect to x1, and then the partial with respect to x2. And if you have more variables, you just go on down the line like that. So the partial with respect to x1 is just uh, 2x1, which is pretty simple. And then if you take the partial uh, derivative of 2x2, uh, the partial with respect to x2, uh, then you get uh, 2. So that's the gradient of any given function. But the gradient has a unique property in that you can find uh, another derivative. So the derivative of f of x with respect to t is equal to the gradient transpose times a function times the derivative of x. <coughs> so, using this value that we had up here, if we have x is equal to x1, x2, which will just be this up here, which is then also equal to 1 plus 3t over t cubed, we want to find the derivative of this function uh, this function with respect to t, then df of dt will equal the transpose of the column <coughs> of the gradient. So up here we found out that it was 2x1 over 2. So transpose will turn this vector into a uh, 1 by 3 matrix. <coughs> so uh, let's see, 2x1 over 2 which is a 1 by 2, just a note, multiplied by the derivative of this one with respect to t, which is 3 over 3t squared. Gotta get rid of that. 3 over 3t squared. There we go. Gosh darn it. I keep on doing this, I get fractions. Okay, over 3t squared. So this is the derivative of this, which is equal to x. So the derivative of x is this. And then the gradient of the function, which is this, is equal to x2 over x1. So the gradient transpose is equal to the times the derivative of this <coughs> uh, x value. So. It's kind of confusing because you think, oh, this is x up here too. But no, this is the gradient of the function. The upside down triangle x just means gradient. And then you have the function of whatever it is. The gradient means you take a partial derivative of it. And then if you want to find the derivative of a function, which is in x with respect to t, then you take the gradient of x times the derivative of what x, the gradient of the function transpose times the derivative of x, and x is given separately, and x is given in terms of t. So, derivative of t and that function. And that will all solve out if you do all this math straight across like this. It will equal 6t squared plus 18t plus 6. So, kind of convoluted. It can get confusing, but uh, just uh, practice it a couple of times and you'll be fine.